Hi, um, let's talk about the list. And uh, previously, I in in the in the previous videos, I find that you were you probably were very confused about uh, when I was talking about like this tuple or that tuple because I forgot to. Uh, I thought I did, but uh, it turns out that I I didn't uh, record the mouse movement. Here, I hope that you can see the mouse movement, so you know what I was talk what what I will be talking about when I'm saying uh, this list or that list. Um, this is similar to tuple, but it's a mutable data type. That means you can directly change the value of the, of the element in the list. And the, the changes happen in place. That is, when you assign a new value to an element of the list, the list will be changed right away. For example, this is my list. And uh, list is in square brackets. And... Uh, how do you get this? You probably just do list. Uh, you have a list function, list a lowercase, then you will have this. Let me let me see if I can see. Uh, my list is equal to list lowercase, and you will have my list at this. And if you want to change any the value of any element in this list, you simply just use the assign operator, the value assign operator, which is the equal sign. And uh, you can do, for example, I want to I want to have I want to change the value of uh, my list to zero. Right now, the my list is zero is lowercase l, and I want to change it to uppercase, which is l, like the big the, the capital L. Like what is my list? variable uh, this this one now and you can find that the first the the first element l has been changed to the uppercase l okay um list of mutable data types you can create by enclosing all of the elements in the square bracket and in the list your the the, the data type of your elements may not be the same. For example, you can create a variable, a, a list like this. My list is equal to 23, which is a numerical integer, and chu, which is a Boolean type, cheese. It's a string because it's quoted by the single quote. And uh, the, uh, the, the, the approximated number of pi, which is a float. So you can simply change each the value of each element by assigning new value to them. So you can see that only the my list two is not changed. My list two is zero, one, two. So cheese is not changed, but the other two, uh, other three elements are all changed. Okay. Um, strings contain only letter, letters. List elements contain any data type. If you uh, print out the data type for each element, this is a for loop that we have learned, but we haven't learned, but uh, we practiced it a little bit in the previous videos. For each element in the list, we print the type, and you will find that the, the types are printed and they are different. Okay, they are different except the uh, the 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 third and the fourth. The third is uh, the indexes should be two, and this is three. List of restrictions and append method. So, for strings, you cannot access an well, like the strings, you cannot access an element that doesn't change. But strings are immutable, so you cannot change the value, and you cannot change the string. Uh, if you if you use a plus operator. Then combine two strings together to get the, the, the new string. That is a new string, it's not the previous string. But here for the list, you can simply extend or append new the the the, the new element. For example, if you have a my list equals to like this 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 three elements, and you append another element five. And you print it out, you will find that five is appended to, to at the end of the, the list. Okay. So, so for example, like here, 
minus append. And if I do a 111, what do you have? You have 111 appended at the, at the end. Uh, the list, lists also have a method called extend. Uh, well, extend cannot be. I should do this. Okay. And you find that if you use extend method, you can extend the elements of another list to the original list. So, what is the difference between. So, both are used to make the list longer. Uh, to, to change the value of the lists, but what is the difference between them? Um, you can take an example and see that if you want to append a list, for example, here is the original my list, and here is a, you append another list of five, six. When you append this list to my list, the, the list itself becomes the fourth element. Here, if you print out the length okay, of this list, this list has, how many elements does this list have? It doesn't have five elements, it only has four elements. Zero, one, two, three. Okay, four elements. And the, and the last element happened to be a list that contains two values. What different from append, if you use extend, all the values of this list will be appended to at the end of the original my list. So this list has five elements. What about what about this? Um, What about my list dot extend five six seven eight? What about this? It will have five six. It also had the list in this whole list because when you extend the list, you extend three elements here. The three elements are. Five, six, and a list of seven, eight. Okay. Well, if you do append, you will find that. Hmm? Okay, because it's too long, so it's printed vertically. Uh, you will find the last list as a whole is appended at the end of the original list at this list rather than three elements appended here okay now we're we're done for the lists